Unit Ten: Korean leaders meet in historic summit, September eighteenth. South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un met at the border between the Koreas on April twenty-seventh, twenty eighteen. It was the first meeting between the two men. And the first between the leaders of the respective nations in 11 years, they signed the Panmunjom Declaration, in which both agreed to seek an end to the Korean War and the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Relations between the two Koreas have been thawing for months. Examples of this were seen at the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. In the women's ice hockey event, the two Koreas were represented by a single team made up of athletes from both nations. The games were also attended by Kim Yo Jong, Kim Jong Un's sister. North Korea later invited Moon to a meeting, ultimately leading to the April summit. In addition to working toward ending the Korean War and getting rid of North Korea's nuclear weapons. Moon and Kim agreed to promote balanced economic growth. This clause in the Panmunjom Declaration, as well as a remark by Kim about North Korea's poor transit infrastructure, has led experts to speculate about why the summit took place. It's hard to know anything for sure about North Korea due to the country's secretive nature. However. Economic sanctions by the United Nations, the U.S., and even China are thought to be taking their toll. It's theorized that Kim wants to use economic growth rather than nuclear might as a way to keep his people happy. If that's the case, these summits and better cooperation with other countries are the North's only real option. Only time will tell how events on the Korean Peninsula will play out. <laughs>